you know, for months, a University of Tennessee student asked the manager at her apartment complex, what does it take to have repairs made? You know, the first issue was a leaky ceiling. It was fixed, but the ceiling was never patched up. Well, she called WAT6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare, who got in touch with the corporate office. Don? Well, Bo, we did. The spokesperson wrote to us saying management will immediately investigate the problems, and they did. Within a two-mile radius of the University of Tennessee campus, there are quite a few new apartment complexes, and investors are building even more. But when it comes to maintenance of some of these apartments, how quick is the response, and is there a follow-up? Chloe Anders showed us the loose entrance door to her apartment. So this hinge right here is, this was completely not attached to the door, and it was, so anyone can basically move that. So what have you done? So I did a work order um, during Christmas break. They marked it as complete and they never fixed it. They marked this as complete? Yes. Six months ago, another work order was marked complete. Oh, the the issue, in her bathroom. It is right there, my ceiling. A good size hole remains just above the bathtub. It was created from a roof leak in August when I moved in. It was like the first week. And then they cut a hole in the ceiling and they've never patched it. Multiple work orders, multiple phone calls, and nothing's been done. Is that insulation coming from there? It is, and it's black. So this is um, the insulation from the ceiling that continues to fall from the hole. Chloe is a sophomore at the University of Tennessee. While going to class full-time, she also works. Since August, she's lived at Society 865 Apartment Complex. She says it's a nice community, close to campus. The apartment is shared with two other co-eds. Her rent is $735 a month. Right after moving in, she noticed this dirty filter. Here we have a problem with our air filter. It is completely black. That's pretty dirty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my. A filter like this might cost $10, $15. Have you thought of getting one yourself? I feel like since I'm paying $735 a month, that should be an easy thing for them to do. Um, they do quarterly inspections. I feel like this should be, my air quality should be part of that inspection. An insecure front door that needs attention. An unpatched hole in the bathroom ceiling. So two weeks ago, she went to the front office and asked, what more does she have to do? I want everything fixed. And the girl was like, it's not fixed yet. And I was like, no, it's been five months like this. She showed us work orders that were submitted to management. This was September. I said, I think they fixed the roof leak. They never patched the hole. As you look right here, passed. This is completed September 23rd, and it is now February. Entrance. This was one of my emergency. It was an emergency priority because that's very unsafe. And I said, the screws are missing from the door. The hinges aren't connected at all. Yet here is what the work order shows. It was completed January 26th at 6 21 p.m. I'm trying to get a degree and it's just like every day I should be studying but I'm worried about calling to get my air filter replaced that should be a given and I feel bad because my mom helps me pay for this I'm always complaining that you know there's a hole in my ceiling and this just isn't how it should be we contacted the management for the apartment complex. We were told, we are in touch with the community manager at Society 865 about your request. We've been told that everything has been repaired. Yeah. One day after our inquiry, a new air filter was installed. Management saying it is their responsibility for replacements. Within two days, a new hinge was installed and the front door was safely secure. Also, the hole in the bathroom ceiling, it was patched up. It's awesome, but should have been done a long time ago. They should have fixed it from the beginning, and I mean, it's a lesson learned on my part. And with the repairs, Chloe says she is not as stressed out as she had been. Now, the property management company for Society 865 told us that air filters are replaced at their expense on a quarterly basis or every three months. There was no explanation why the filter, that filter apparently had not been changed from the time Chloe moved in last August until just last week. We're glad that we could assist, Bo.
Great job. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddarewat.com. Or you can always call a six on your side hotline. The number is 865-633-5974.